hello guys we know every speaker is having a magnetic system which is very important for that okay so we will be talking about the speaker motor today then let's get started the magnets have north pole and south pole just like a battery and unlike a electric circuit the magnetic circuit is always closed closed means always currents will be flowing the magnetic currents is called magnetic flux so the magnetic flux is started from north pole and ended at south pole this is how the magnetic flux is flowing on the inside it will be flowing from south to north then only the magnetic circuit gets completed and like the electric circuit magnetic circuit always having a closed path okay this is how permanent magnets works permanent magnets always produce magnetic flux whenever two magnets are brought together they will either repel or attract based on the polarity like a battery magnets also have polarity north pole south pole which is similar to battery's positive terminal and negative terminal comparing to a battery batteries always deliver current from positive terminal to negative terminal similar to that magnets always produce flux from north pole to south pole okay internally the current in a battery also flows from negative terminal to positive terminal internally similar to that magnetic flux also flows from south pole to north pole internally okay now every magnet is having some properties even though permanent magnets are categorized as one but uh, there are many varieties of magnets okay high energy magnets are there some of the pioneer subwoofers use that same magnet uh, which is uh, small in size but very powerful and another one is a neodymium magnet most of the low cost budget speakers always come with a normal magnet which is black in color neodymium magnet always looks like very shiny and silvery in color okay in the first figure i have uh, drawn that uh, normal magnet uh, which is having less number of flux which indicates uh, it is low powered less powerful magnet which is indicated in the first diagram so every magnet whenever it is placed in chair or something it is always carries the flux through air similar to uh, the electric circuits in order to flow a current there should be a conductor connected from positive to negative terminal then only a current can flow similar to that magnetic conductors also there which is ferromagnetic materials which carry uh, magnetic flux lines with uh, low reluctance reluctance is uh, similar to that of resistance in actual electric circuits so uh, similar to that magnetic flux lines are carried easily by ferromagnetic materials which act as a magnetic conductor okay here you can see one is the regular magnet which have uh, less number of lines there are only two number of lines the lines represents a magnetic flux produced by the magnet which indicates the power of the magnet in the second diagram you can see that is a neodymium magnet magnet is placed in air even though they produce more number of lines you can see that in the figure 
more number of lines means it is a powerful magnet even if it is placed in air it will produce significant flux speakers with a neodymium magnet is undoubtedly superior in performance and very sensitive sensitivity we will talk in coming videos okay there there will be a video uh, explaining the speaker parameters magnetic power can be explained in terms of formula the phi which is indicates the number of magnetic lines this is mmf by reluctance mmf is the driving power of the magnet divided by resistance of the path so in order to increase the number of lines or number of flux or phi we can reduce the reluctance similar to that in electric circuits in order to increase the current flowing through the conductor for the same voltage voltage is similar to mmf for the same voltage we need to reduce the resistance similar to reluctance if we reduce the reluctance for the same mmf more flux lines will be established neodymium magnets are always preferred for speaker construction but in order to reduce the cost of the speaker we rely on regular magnets here you can see a sony explode speaker it is an oval shaped speaker having the motor assembly a regular magnet with uh, some soft iron pieces we will see why the soft iron pieces are required the soft iron pieces actually do have some purpose to serve whenever we are adding more magnet to the speaker we should upgrade the ferromagnetic materials also the dimensions of the ferromagnetic materials plays a huge role you can see it is having a sufficiently large uh, magnet this is a normal magnet not a neodymium magnet and you can see the pole pieces motor structure the magnet and the ferromagnetic material are combinedly called as motor of the speaker thank you for watching more videos are coming please subscribe and stay tuned thank you